you've got all the keywords in there. You've got the campaign set, the the budgets are running and your products start moving. Uh, do you guys have a strategy for using auto campaigns versus frank phrase campaigns and exact campaigns? Yep. So I would say there's a lot of talk in the space. I don't know if it's like kind of old school or just for whatever reason. And like autos are like only good for keyword research. And then, you know, broad match or the old school, like, okay, autos are kind of like the beginning. And then we do broad and then we do phrase and we do exact. <clears throat> I would say we don't treat any, we don't really ever treat any campaign as like, quote, it's only ever good for research. And that's all we'll ever use it for. Because what we've seen is that auto campaigns can create a lot of really good low cost traffic. It's very easy to get lower cost per clicks and autos, hmm. not necessarily so much with exact match. Broad match the same way. Now, there has been updates to the algorithm on the search terms that broad match will pull. And so I will be, if you haven't been aware of the update and you haven't checked your search term reports for your broad match recently, like go check those. You probably have a lot of negative sad. Okay. Um, so you definitely want to keep up with these things. What we've actually observed, because I've done, gosh, probably thousands of audits at this point. And so I've seen every type of ad structure, even ad structures you would like never in a million years think to put in an account. And I've seen accounts that go to one extreme or another. So one extreme would be exact match only. We're only going to focus on rank strategies. It's all ranked. That's all good ads are for. We're, we're not going to do, you know, there's a common sentiment that I hear often. It's like, I've found all the keywords in my space. So why do I need autos? Why do I need broad? Right. Yeah. Because they're just keyword research. What we've actually seen, again, because I've audited, they come to me when things are in trouble and that's when they want the audit. So I see it like at the end of that, you know, maybe six months later, maybe even a year later. And so I'll audit those accounts. I'm like, oh, well, there's only exact match. The, the interesting thing about the accounts that go to the extreme of exact match is they will be really, they'll have really good rankings on main keywords. Again, because that's the sole focus of these accounts. But the funny thing is they actually struggle with market share. So they struggle to grow sales because they struggle with the volume of traffic, i.e. sessions that they need to really hit their sales goals. And then you have the flip side, which is the people who are like, oh, for whatever reason, they stuck up an auto, they stuck up broad, and they never did anything else with it. So there's relatively no exact match, maybe one or two, and they tried it and they're like, the A cost is too high, I can't. So for whatever reason, it's like other extreme, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all broads, it's all autos. Those ones, interesting enough, um, they do kind of okay with like a oftentimes profitability is not terrible. Now, sometimes these can have like really crazy swings as well, just due to the search terms they pull and stuff. But these ones struggle with ranking and struggle to really maintain the market share. And so what we've discovered, again, through audits and testing ourselves is that you really need both. It's not an either or strategy. It's an and strategy. Mm -hmm. And so our goal is to have those specific campaigns that are designed to help us maintain that rank, to help us maintain the presence on, you know, support our presence on those main key terms that we know our customers are searching for. And we need to make sure that we maintain you know, some sort of rank there. But on the flip side, we also want to have those autos, those bras. Now, our goal here is low cost traffic. Fun fact, you're actually, some people, when they look at how they're doing in the market, some people will look at ranking on main keywords. But another great barometer for how you're doing is BSR. BSR is completely agnostic to your rank. It doesn't matter. We've actually been able, because we wanted a quick turnaround, we had one account where we dropped, we were one number one BSR and we got down to number two and we're like, we need to get back to number one. What we did was went into the account. We're like, where are the sales coming from? Let's just pump that. We got back to number one BSR within, I want to say it was two days with less than a point increase in total A costs, simply through leveraging broads and autos because we needed that fast, quick, like influx of sales to gain BSR. So there's more than one way to go about it. And what I would say is if you're like hyper focused in on one, like very narrow strategy, oftentimes you're missing, um, you're missing one half. Yeah. So probably experiment, right. With the autos, mm -hmm. phrases, exact broads, and don't just completely eliminate one or the other, just because you think that would be the best. 
Yep. 